There are many ways to host your uh, at-home pizza party. You can make your own dough, roll it, and do all of the, the work necessary to cook a homemade up pizza oven in a Chicago brick oven. You can actually go to one of your local pizzerias and, and, and see if you can buy some of the shells already made and again, put your own fixings on. What we do here at Chicago Brick Oven, we work with our friends right down the road here, homemade pizza. And basically what we do is we go in and order 10 to 12 pizzas at a time, all prepared and ready to go. All on fresh dough, all with natural ingredients. And if you want to check them out, they have over 30 locations at www.homemadepizza.com. Don't buy one or two pizzas. You better get yourself a dozen when you go to Homemade Pizza because the freeloaders in your neighborhood are going to come a-knocking when they smell the cooking. <laughs> now that you've removed your excess coals, we now want to clean the hearth to get it ready for cooking pizzas. Basically, use your Chicago brick oven cleaning brush. Get into the middle of the hearth and just sweep the coals to the side and to the back. As you can see, the dome has now turned white, which means it's completely heated. We have pushed the fire completely to the back of the oven, and we're just about ready to cook our pizzas. Here we have one of the specialty pizzas from our friends from Homemade Pizza. Basically, all you need to do is take the parchment paper that it's sitting on and cut off the corners. You actually leave the pizza on the parchment paper, take it off the cardboard, place it on your pizza pill as such, and you're ready to go. Now that we've cleaned the hearth, we're going to place the pizza in the middle of the oven, right on the parchment paper, and let it slide easily off your pizza pill. The pizza is in, the freeloaders will be showing up. Hey Carl, you making homemade pizza? <laughs> You want to turn your pizza about a quarter turn after about a minute in the oven. As you can see, we've also added another log to the back of the fire to make sure that a little bit of that flame is coming over the dome on top of the pizza. As you can see, our pizza is now done. The crust is nice and brown. The cheese is marbleized. And this whole process is taking between three to five minutes. We pull it out. You can serve it right back on top of the cardboard holder that came with the pizza. You can use this as your cutting board, cut the pizza, and ready to go. When cutting your pizza, you can use the traditional roller method. I prefer a large pizza knife. And you can hear the crispness of that shell being cut and as I say you can cut right on top of the cardboard that's come with the pie and our pizza from homemade pizza is ready to go as you can see the vultures will not wait pizza pizza I know not long of pizza What? We're not done yet? Hey, I got a manja. I can't cook all day long. Well, for those of you who need more information, you can check us out at chicagobrickoven.com, batellibrickoven.com. Hey, we even got a Facebook now, Chicago Brick Oven. What about Twitter? We got Twitter? Hey, we even got Twitter. For those of you tweet tweets out there, take us a look. Talk to you soon. Good having you here. Bon appetit. <laughs>